All right, so now we can see that the spring cloud, yeah, so I guess everything should be fine at this point. So, so let's see where we are. So the next thing is copy over, we've done this. We've repeated it for HR and pathology service. And now we are going to start all the services and test the Eureka server and make sure all the services are registered. Okay. So I'm going to save everything and I'm going to start all the services. So admission service. Okay, it's taking some time to build the workspace. Um, okay, so admission service, run as, run as Spring Boot Up, Discovery Server, run as, uh, run as Spring Boot Up as well. Run as Spring, okay, so we have some errors, so let me see. Oh, there are some things we need to update. There are some things we need to update. So let's go to the web page. I can show you. So application that properties file for the discovery server. I need to add this port. That is one. Um, I hope I'm not missing out anything. So let's go to discovery server application the property. Let me allow it to run in this port. All right. So, um, so let's take a little break. Let's take a little break and then we come back and solve all these problems. All right. So we are trying to we are trying to test all this uh, everything to make sure that this the services are now registered with Eureka Server. Um, I, I'm receiving an error. So let me see. Let me save everything. And at this point, I'm going to start, I'm going to restart the admission service. I'm going to restart it. So it takes a while to start. So, mm -hmm. so admission service. Application fail to start. Home card connector 8081. The port may already be in use or misconfigured. Okay, so let's look at the admission service. So it says the port may already be in use or misconfigured. So let's see. In properties of XML 8081 for admission service. Mm -hmm. Um so for discovery server eight seven six one for HR service eight zero eight two and for pathology service the port is eight zero eight three. So everything should be fine. So let me see there was a problem. All right, so let's see where this problem is coming from. Okay, so let me see. There's a problem with the instant info replicator. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to, uh, let's see. I think I should know where the problem is coming from. It should be coming from the admissions resource. So let's see. The admissions resource. I may have forgotten to change this port. The port for the HR uh, for the pathology service call to 8083. So as you can, okay, I did change it to 8083. 
So everything should be fine. Okay, so let's go again. Let's start all the services. Let's start the discovery server first. But before we do that, let's add enable Eureka client to all of them. HR service. So I'm going to come here and say add enable Eureka client. Okay, so I'm going to do it for the admission service. And finally, for the pathology service, all right, so let's save everything. Okay, okay, so. Um, Eureka server proxy, discovery server proxies. Okay, I'll make sure everything is fine here. All right, so Eureka server. Okay, so everything is fine. Okay, so I'm going to restart at this point, discovery server. Okay, so discovery server started. So it's giving some error. Okay, it's giving some errors because it's expecting the client. So let's see what well, the clients have not been started. So if I go refresh this page, so so it's actually for eight seven six one. So we have the Reka server started and we have admission service running. Okay, perfectly okay. So let's go start the pathology service and the HR service. So I'm going to start the HR service to run us, bring boot up, and I'm going to start the pathology service as well. So I'm going to start the pathology service as well. So if I go here and then I refresh, I can see HR service started. And if I refresh it again, it should have pathology service. So you can see the three services are now registered. The three services are now registered successfully and they are up and running. So we've come this far, I'd like to thank you for viewing and we have one more thing to do.